Hello, how you doing? Uh, I'm gonna uh, make a short video on uh, giving a injection with the um, Embril, uh, I forget what they call this, Auto Pen, uh, Super Pen, some kind of, I can't think of the name of the damn thing, what do they call this, SureClick Auto Injector. It's right here. And uh, I was, uh, I have been diagnosed with reactive arthritis. I've had a hell of a time with this. I've been going downhill for about seven years. I've tried everything. Methotrexate, uh, Humira for three months, uh, Sulfazalazine where I started to have liver failure and was hospitalized. Now I'm given this Embril oral. And so far uh, it isn't doing much. And actually it kind of seems like a shot of adrenaline. It's messing up my sleep and I don't get enough sleep, I have a hard time staying asleep, but you have to be on most of these biologics for three months to determine if they're going to work or not. I hope it's going to work, but this is my fourth shot, and I thought I'd just show you how I administer the shot. It's pretty much like they indicate in the directions. I shoot mine in a little bit of an angle, and uh, I'm telling you, anybody that's concerned about this, the needle, you can't even feel it. I've noticed with the Embro compared to the Humera, that uh, I'll get a little drop of blood sometimes. you think that would cause pain, but it really doesn't. I know you, people ice their legs and do different things. Uh, I've never done that, and as I'll show you, this is really no big deal. Um, I usually take it earlier in the day. i just been dinking around today and didn't do it, but uh, for the people that are reluctant to give them themselves shots, uh, you'll get an idea that there really isn't anything to this at all. You can't feel it. I think it's a 22 gauge needle, really super small. Uh, and uh, as you'll see, uh, no big deal. So uh, the, I did a video on Humera a few months back, and again, after I watched it, I realized I probably should have mentioned a lot of other things. There are directions on there, and I encourage you to read them. Uh, the auto injector in this pen is a little different than Humera. Humera suggested that you kind of bunch up your skin, where this uh, shows that you kind of spread it apart. I don't shoot mine straight down into my leg. I do it a little bit of an angle. I really don't see how that would matter. I always get all of the chemical in. There's never any left. I've never had a problem. I don't know. It's just personal preference. I mean, do what the directions say, but as you'll see, mine's at a little bit of an angle, and that's kind of how I did Humera, and it's getting in there, so I really don't see a problem with it. So the first thing you want to do is uh, wash your hand, disinfect your hands as good as you can. You want to have a clean environment. Now I read up uh, with Humira and Embril before and it seemed like a lot of the problems that people had were uh, taking this stuff out and perhaps injecting it while the chemical was still cold. As you know this is very temperature sensitive. You can't allow it to freeze. You refrigerate it. And what I do is, and what I did with the Humira as well, in case somebody is either going to go to Humira or is coming off Humira and trying this, is I take this out of the refrigerator uh, I take all four pens out of the package when I get them, put them in the refrigerator, and I take this out and I set it out for 40 minutes. And really it doesn't take that long. Sometimes I do it for 30 minutes, but it's close to room temperature. If you see and you look on the side, you'll see where the chemical's right here, and it lets you know it's a full pen. And you'll get an indication, too, that uh, if it didn't work, and you'll get like a colored bar if all the chemicals been injected successfully. It's kind of dark. I've never had that problem. Um, this, I think they say, I forget, I should know all this, 10 or 15 seconds. I always count to 20. I mean, I give it as much time as I can, and I've never had a problem. All the fluids injected, and it works just perfectly. But, I mean, I can't tell you enough times. Read the directions and do it how they say, but this is how I've done it, and I've had a perfect success. I mean, really, it's a no-brainer. Anybody could do this. So, uh, wash your hands thoroughly like I did earlier, and I set the pen down on the bed. And what I do is, uh, when you first start doing it, there's certain things that, you know, you wish you would have done a little different, and that kind of happened with me. Um, one of those was getting a Band-Aid. I didn't really need it with Humira, but it's a good idea to cover that puncture wound if you look at some of the complaints with regard to these biologics when you inject yourself, it's at the injection site. I've never had a problem with that. I can't even tell where I've injected myself most of the time. 
Although, as I said, I noticed with the Emperor pen, I'll see a drop of blood once in a while, and I never saw that with the Humira pen. So, I've washed my hands, and now what I'll do is I'll get an alcohol swab, which uh, you don't get with these Emerald pens. You got them with uh, Humira. I got a whole bunch of them anyway, no big deal. But you want to make the area as clean as you can. Now, the in, in some of the written literature I had, they talk about changing injection areas. I do that. I use my thigh, and I, I'm kind of around the same area. I'm not moving around my whole leg. And, and like I said, this is going to be my fourth shot. I'd taken 12 Humeras, and I couldn't even tell where I injected myself, other than I said this just drop of blood with this emerald. It's no big deal. So, I usually shoot mine right on the side of my thigh like this. Now in the directions they show vertically straight up and down. I always shoot mine at a little bit of an angle. Uh, I don't know why I do that. I just, well I do know why I do it. And mentally I think I'm going to hit a bone if I go straight down even though you'd need a three inch needle to do that. And I think at an angle since I get good experience with Humira, do it this way. So you clear that out like that. Clear that area like that. And you put that down. Now when you get this pen, there are two parts of the pen. As I said, the fluid's right here. And there's a, a white end and a purple end. So, I don't know if you can read the writing on this or not. But, uh, they talk about how it's used, an auto-injector, that kind of thing. Now this white end right here, this little end, you pull that out and that takes a protective cap off the end and I don't know how well you can see this but if you look in there you'll see a needle really fine needle and I remember on the Humera you would see a drop of this chemical come out of there I've never had that happen on the Emerald. so you look down in there you see this little tiny needle and you take that cap you put it around here and in Humera, I don't know why I'm telling you this because I'm not using Humera, they would have you bunch it up where on the embryo you kind of like spread it apart a little. Now I will put the, uh, you can see through the sides on this, although it doesn't matter where you're ejecting it. And you put it right on your leg like that and you push down, kind of firm, probably blocking part of the view like that. And then I get it like firm like that. I spread the skin apart a little bit like that. And then push it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Take your hand off that. Pull it out. Look on the side, that's solid purple. That means all that chemical has been injected into you. Now let me just pick up this camera and show you the injection site. See that little red spot? Now the red spot would be done with anything. Okay? It's just I push that pen down there hard. That's the little blood that I get. So what I do is I have that like that no big deal just a little round spot with one little drop of blood and get yourself a band-aid because there's no sense in leaving an open even if it's a small wound for infections I know that can be a problem sometimes and if you've read up on these drugs you're really prone to infections because they uh, inhibit your immune system in other words it's easier to get sick or get an infection then I take the old band-aid out which I'm sure everybody watching this knows how to put one of these on. <laughs> and I just try not to touch the sticky part. Put it right down there. Put it on my leg. And that's this week's shot of Emerald. 
So for anybody that's having any reluctance uh, doing this, don't. Doesn't hurt at all. Can't feel it. And I wish you luck, and I uh, hope this medication helps you. Thank you.